we're starting a new series. This year, we're going to be designing characters based on every single star sign and painting an original piece. Last month, we created Aries, and this is how she turned out. I absolutely love the end result. Now, it's time to do Taurus. Let's get sketching. I have got some colour pencils, a rubber, and I've got my cardi paper out. And yes, my hair is blonde. It's gonna be pink. It's gonna end up pink. I've only just bleached it. We need to give it a second to chill. Otherwise, the pink isn't gonna stay in. Let's go through the Pinterest board and get sketching. We did Aries last time, and now we're on Taurus. I put them all in the same board on Pinterest, so if you wanna see that, I will leave it down below. We're gonna quickly go over the traits to being a Taurus so that we can come up with a design, and then when we move on to the painting, we'll talk about what it actually means to be a Taurus, what those traits really mean in principle, and where this Taurus character fits into the world that we're creating. If you missed the last one, it might make more sense to go and see Aries. For now, we need to create a look. We need to create the sketch and the feel of the character, and then we'll develop on that a little bit later on. Taurus. The colors I've picked out are these three colors. The Taurus colors are mustard, pink, and green, and we're just gonna pop down the symbol as well. Now, last time we popped the symbol on a necklace, but I don't think that's gonna work for this one, because this one actually kind of looks like a necklace to begin with. Do you see what I mean? It looks like a necklace. We'll see if any others pop up as we're going through because sometimes there's a little bit of inconsistency in the star signs and what different people say about them. The archetype for a Taurus is the bull. It's an earth element and it's ruled by Venus. Next, we've got a little bit about their character. A Taurus is creative, compassionate, steadfast, sensual, understanding, but they're also uncompromising, possessive, and ungrounded. And then this other one says they are trustworthy, persistent, and patient. Oh, we haven't put the dates. The dates are April 20th to May 20th. Okay, so this is everything that we've got so far. Now we need to start deciding what this character's gonna look like. Considering these are the colors of Taurus, they are an earth element. There's a lot of things about nature. They are ruled by Venus and they have that sensuality as well. But there's a lot of things about nature. So I was leaning towards a kind of boho vibe. It's so difficult to show on the screen, but there's a few pieces of inspo here for what other people have done for a Taurus. And then, this is what I was leaning towards. I think this mood board is what I wanna do for the outfit. Loose, flowy, and really lean into those colors that we've got. I think this is a perfect vibe for the character that we're trying to create. I think the background is gonna be green, so that's something we're gonna have to consider because the outfit can't have too much green in if the background's gonna be green. It would have to be a very different shade. Same with this one, but it does have the green in again. Okay, moving on to the character now. I'm thinking braids could look amazing. The other options I have are these kind of braids, very similar, I just think they're so pretty. These ones as well, I really love the idea of having the loose curls alongside the braids, but I'm not sure how I'd be able to do that. These ones are gorgeous, these ones are slightly bigger. This one I'm not sure how I would be able to do, but I can give it a try. Have you got a drink? Make sure you've got a drink, make sure you're drinking enough. The other thought I had was this kind of tattoo. This pose. I really love. I would like the face to be a little bit more angled. I think this is what our character's gonna look like, so let's get sketching. And then a little bit later on, we'll see how the character fits with the universe. I've made the eyebrows a little bit upturned just to give that kind of cute naive look which I think really leans into the vibe of this character. For the same reason I've also done a slightly rounder face. I mean a Taurus is understanding and trustworthy and generally just very sweet. They do have some negatives but for the most part they are just very nice and lovely so I really want that to come across. This is the character's mugshot. 
Before you put them in a pose that's kind of hard to make out the actual character, I like to visualize what the character looks like. Still, I think the next thing to do is pop that character in the pose. It's not going to be a complete side profile. It's going to be tilted a little bit more so we can see a bit more of the face. I think this character should have an earring. Let's see if there's anything on the mood board. These are the earrings that have come up on here. We could do something a little bit like that. This is where I struggle. It's like adapting a pose to what I would like. Can't get it right. I can't get it right at all. The tattoo will be in black. Oh, that's a really good idea. We could do this fine, we could continue it, but do it in negative space. Could I do that? It would be green. I feel like the one bit that is green that I haven't done in green. Oh, maybe like the cascade green that I've got. Yeah, I'll write that down. The top could be pink. We could do the jewelry. We need to fit orange somewhere, so I think the orange will fit into the undertone. Okay, what do you think of Taurus? This is the rough sketch and this is the thumbnail idea. It's hard to picture because the background is actually going to be green. I'm going to create the final sketch on my arches paper and I'll next see you for the painting and the story. Let's talk about Taurus. Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac, an earth sign ruled by Venus and symbolized by the bull. These three traits actually go a long way to explaining who Taurus is. At their core, a person born under Taurus enjoys stability above all else. They are resentful of change unless they're an active party making that change. As an earth sign, they're connected to nature and appreciate the peace that nature can bring. They enjoy a quiet, peaceful life where steady progress and hard work are appreciated. This love of stability allows a Taurus to flourish. They're often incredibly ambitious, though will always remain grounded, as they believe that hard work is the only way forward. As with Aries, they are incredibly loyal and dependable, though this can often be seen as being incredibly stubborn. They hold grudges and do not yield. Not in a fiery, explosive nature like an Aries, but in a much deeper, never forgive, never forget kind of manner. This makes them an excellent partner to the more hot-headed Aries, as they'll push each other forward and keep each other moving in the right direction. One of the key features that often popped up whilst I was researching is that a Taurus is in touch with nature. I love the concept, and honestly, I ran with it. As Ares is a hot-headed warrior with fire magic, I felt that Taurus should really complement this. The in-touch-with-nature aspect worked really well whilst building this idea. The research I did for Ares gave me lots of individual pieces to combine into one character, whilst Taurus did the opposite. The different aspects of Taurus, their love of nature, dependability, resilience, and love of stability, all combined into a single characteristic that I can draw from and create their story. Simply put, a person born under the star sign of Taurus is down to earth. They're realistic. Once I realised this, I did the same as for Aries and looked into fictional characters that fall under the star sign Taurus. And there were three that stood out. Lisa Simpson, Katniss from Hunger Games, and Pocahontas. Unlike Aries, where there were a lot of clashing ideals, Taurus held a very consistent theming. All three of these characters want to do the right thing and will not be swayed from their path. They aren't dreamers, as they see the outcome as the only thing that can happen. Resolute, headstrong, inflexible, with a core inner strength which will guide them through it all. I will be honest though, this did mean I struggled to come up with the story for this character. I knew they were going to be akin to the alternate version of Ares since they held very similar characteristics, almost as if they were two halves of the same coin. But designing their story requires some improvisation. Let's see where it takes us. So this is Taurus. Taurus is a young woman, a good friend of Ares, 
Growing up in the same town, Taurus is the daughter of a long line of hunters and woodsmen. Living on a small farmstead, Taurus never received a formal education. Her family had always relied on and respected nature. They told the young girl that the smartest teachers and lessons in schools are nothing compared to the lessons and experiences that old trees of the forest could teach. Her father took her on hunting trips where she learned to track, navigate and survive in the wilds around the town. All about the practicality of living with nature. The mother taught her to appreciate the earth, teaching her the bounties of the forest, potions and balms to heal wounds and cure ills. The small family was happy. As Taurus grew up, she started to hear something, a soft whisper in the morning air. She asked her mother if she could hear it, but her mother could not. Her father thought she was being a troublemaker, making things up. This caused Taurus to try her hardest to push that soft voice out of her head, not knowing if it was real or just her imagination. Living outside the walls led to certain stereotypes from the townsfolk, and the young family were mostly left to themselves. People would visit her mother for healing, and her father to trade meat that he hunted. So the young tourist was never alone. On a trip to town with her father, they decided to stop at the town bakery. Here, Taurus met someone that she would never forget. As she walked into the warm wooden cottage of the bakery, Taurus saw a young girl, maybe only a year or two older. Handling bread and dealing with the oven, Taurus had always been scared of fire. Her parents had warned her of the dangers of fire in the forests. But to see a young girl dealing with such heat without even flinching, this amazed young Taurus. She went around the counter and introduced herself to her new friend, Ares. After this moment, Ares and Taurus were inseparable. Taurus was in awe of Ares' bravery, whilst Ares was amazed that Taurus could survive outside the walls and explore the woods freely all by herself. The two became close friends, spending as much time with each other as possible. This friendship became a true partnership when the goblins came. Taurus was small, even amongst children. She was small, and yet there was something she just knew. Like the day her, Ares, and their friends were playing in the woods, Taurus knew something was coming. Run, said the whispers. Hide. Taurus had heard murmurs before, but never words, and this scared her. She stayed close to Ares as they played. Run, please. The whispers pushed her to flee as Taurus spotted them, the goblins. The kids started to run towards the town, but her little legs couldn't keep up. Something was happening. Despite being in the woods, no trees were in her way. No branches hit her, no roots tripped her. She could have sworn she saw them moving. In an open field, the goblins easily caught up to her, but because of the brave actions of Ares, she escaped. She was safe. The whispers only grew louder as Taurus grew older. She soon realized that the whispers were the trees. Something in her allowed them to talk. This connection to the forest pushed Taurus to explore deeper and further. The trees, in turn, taught her much about her powers, how to grow plants and cure sick flowers. Eventually, she could control plants, like they were a part of herself. At her 16th birthday party, the young mage got what would become her greatest gift. Tradition in her family was strong. She did what all members of the family did when they joined the hunts. She got tattoos. Taurus knew early on what she wanted, and her expanding magic only further sealed this. Vines. Taurus got vines tattooed all over her body. With Ares holding her hand, she endured the pain and realized that she was far stronger than she ever thought. She joined her father on hunts, pushing herself even further into the woods, learning as much as she could deeper and deeper into the wilds until she found a small cottage. A young, or maybe old, woman sat very still, eyes closed, her body shimmering. The woman saw Taurus and spoke, without moving her lips. Well, aren't you an interesting one? Taurus freaked and ran, never looking back. That night, Taurus slept. Thoughts of the woman in the wood crawled through her mind. Who was she? How did she know me? Taurus knew to be scared, but was intrigued nonetheless. Her dreams shifted in tone. 
Darker and more aggressive shadows sprung from the woman, attacking Taurus. She fended them off as best she could, using just her instincts to fight the shadows. Vines sprouted from all around her and held the shadows down. Once more the woman spoke. To think you have this magic even in your own dreams. Taurus woke in her bed, covered in leaves. She knew something had to be done. As Ares left the town in search of adventure, Taurus joined her, working on her magic and always watching the shadows for the woman of the woods. There wasn't much I changed for this painting other than the hand placement. I really liked the pose so I felt like I should just attempt painting a hand and I don't think it went too badly. I decided to not give her horns even though Taurus is the bull. Because I didn't feel like it was necessary, Ares had horns and I wanted there to be differences between the two of them. But honestly, I think this might be my best portrait to date. What do you think? Do you like it? Thank you for joining me here today. If you are enjoying this series, let me know by giving this video a like and consider subscribing so you can meet all of the characters. We're going to be creating every single star sign. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on Sunday for a new video. Bye bye.